Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would first like to thank the Honourable Member from Calgary Foothills for putting this bill forward. It's about time and good on you for all your hard work. This bill aims to increase the rate of organ and tissue donation in the province, a commendable goal. This goal is even more vital when we compare Alberta's and Canada's organ and tissue donation rate to the rest of the world. In 2001, Canada's donation rate was 3.5 donors per million. In 2010, the rate had increased marginally to 13.9 donors per million. Despite a continued need, the rate barely changed over the course of a decade. These rates are not in line with other developed nations. Spain, for example, recorded 32.1 donors per million in 2010. This is a huge shift from 14.3 per million in 1989. Spain's performance shows that progress is possible and that Canada's low performance is not beyond repair. One of the reasons the Spanish experience has been more successful is because of the switch to opt-out standards of organ donation instead of opt-in. But what is more important for Alberta is their expertise engaging the public, promoting organ and tissue donation, and designing systems to allow for society-wide tracking of consent of donors. Canada's performance lags desperate despite efforts such as National Organ Donor Week, which was established by federal law in 1997. Mr. Speaker, this bill aims to establish an Alberta Organ and Tissue Donation Agency, superseding current regional efforts to coordinate and encourage organ donation. Having a province-wide body to encourage more donors to sign up could help find efficiencies and expand partnerships to encourage organ donation. These centrally coordinated promotions could lead to more engagement with potential donors with a similar amount of expended resources. This ties into what I view as the more significant portion of this bill, the creation of the Alberta Organ and Tissue Donation Registry. This registry aims to simplify the registration of people's consent for organ and tissue donation. In my mind, this would be a great way to ensure that potential donors' wishes are respected. At very least, it's an excellent step forward from our current system of endorsing the back of our Alberta health care card, which may, many don't realize is there or simply forget. With the establishment of this registry, amazing things become possible. On a personal note, Mr. Speaker, I know firsthand how many amazing things can happen when organ donation is considered. On July 3rd, 2001, my son Troy was removed from life support after <laughs> suffering <laughs> after suffering brain damage from a dirt bike accident six days earlier. And yes, Mr. Speaker, he was wearing the best helmet money could buy. Also. The health care system in this province is second to none. Not once in that week did we as a family ever think he wasn't getting the best care possible, thanks to the U of A hospital. <clears throat> also, Mr. Speaker, the Air Medivac worked very well in this province. While many tough decisions had to be made that week, one decision that came without hesitation was to no donate Troy's organs. My family is very close. We, we knew that should anything happen to one of us, giving the gift of life through organ donation would be a given. My son was all about giving. He was a training to be a firefighter and dedicated his life to helping others. That's why when we faced the question about donating his organs, my wife, daughter, and I did not hesitate. Because of our family's decision, Troy dramatically changed and altered 28 lives for the better. Yes, 28. We know that a single mom raising a 10-year-old boy on her own received one of his kidneys. 
Before she received the kidney, she had to go to the hospital for dialysis, bringing her son with her each day. Since her kidney transplant, she no longer needs dialysis, but even more important, we know that our family has played a part in giving her child his childhood back. A man in Saskatchewan received Troy's heart, giving him the gift to watch his grandchildren play soccer. And one, <clears throat> sorry. And one of the first joint liver and pancreas transplants in Western Canada was performed using Troy's organs. If I can leave you with one message today, it would be this. Talking to your family about organ donation is critical. There are many misconceptions about what it involves, but the more you talk, the more you learn. Should what happened to our family ever happen to you or your family, your decision will be automatic. Deciding to be an organ donator is the first big step. Telling your family is the next. Making organ donation top of mind will help it become more popular choice for all Albertans. That said, I was pleased to see the section of this bill where the question of opting in as an organ donator would be asked when registering or renewing your driver's license. I believe the registry and the requirement for stating a preference would greatly increase the awareness of organ and tissue donation along with the opt-in rate. The more people we have donating organs, the more people can have a chance at life. So what we need is a clear call for action, such as the next time you renew your license, give the gift of life, or something similar. Alberta should realize great gains over the, over the renewal cycle of driver's license. I have no doubt that Alberta Organ and Tissue Donation Agency and the Alberta Organ and Tissue Donation Registry would be a powerful combination to increase Alberta's organ and tissue donation rates. By reminding Albertans of their important choice about becoming an organ don donor, there would be increased discussions in families about donation, preferences, making end-of-life decisions just a little bit easier. I miss Troy, but I'm grateful for the legacy he left behind. I know that our loss was not for nothing. There are many families who have benefited because of what happened and because of the decision our family made. But I can say for sure, Mr. Speaker, organ donation is the right thing to do. Weeks and months later, I would still think about the recipients and a smile would come to my face. Mr. Speaker, I see many benefits to be found in this bill, and I would like again to thank the member from Calgary Foothills for bringing this bill forward. I will be voting in support of this bill, and I encourage my colleagues to vote in favour as well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.